I know the Cebu province has been badly damaged by Odette and so has other tourism areas. Uh, I'd like to know, is the Department of Tourism prepared uh, for this type of uh, circumstances? Because we have climate change, we have unpredictable weather. Do we have an inventory of tourism infrastructure due to Typhoon Odette, Madam Chair? One of the very first directives that I gave to the Department of Tourism was to present to me an accounting of all the damaged tourism-related structures across our regions. And they have presented to me the same, and this was actually part of the Tier 2 proposal that I had presented to the DBM. I have no Tier 2 to speak of at the moment, and therefore, uh, there would be no funding for the repair of these damaged structures if we are to singularly rely on the Department of Tourism. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, well, it's good to know that uh, the problem that we were experiencing in the previous administration, which is that the call for help has fallen on deaf ears when it comes to the DBM, is being repeated again for the victims of Typhoon Odette and the tourism sector uh, that, was, that was affected in Cebu or other provinces. I'm saying this, Madam Chair, because us in the province of Lanao del Norte have damaged tourism infrastructure during Typhoon Vinta. And up to now, walang, walang uh, feedback galing sa national government. And uh, I think this is highlighting uh, the problem uh, of, the, of how funds are prioritized to help our agencies, such as the Department of Tourism. It's in Tier 2, according to our Secretary, but it has been more or less rejected. Hopefully, we in Congress can make institutional amendments.